What is up guys, it's Mashes here, today doing a LEGO Ninjago review. This time we are doing it on the Sherry Copter. This is item number 70673. It comes with 361 pieces and will retail for $30 US. The three minifigures included are Zane, Forbidden, Spajitsu J, and General Vex. And on the box you can just see the actual set and on the back you can see all of the functions. My first impression upon building this set was that this set is surprisingly big. For the $30 you pay for it, you do get a lot of stuff. I think the best uh, comparison for it is going to be Jay's Stormfighter from Legacy, which came out earlier this year. That was a $40 set, which is $10 more than this. And that is pretty much the exact same size in every aspect. The length and width are pretty much exactly the same. And this set is a little bit taller. so. This is a fairly sizable thing you are paying for. The other cool thing about this set is simply the design of it. It's got a very unorthodox design. There isn't really anything like it in terms of how it's put together. There are, you know, I guess some similar looking things, but also not really. It's a fairly untapped area and it works really well here. There aren't really any complaints. It's structurally very sound and there aren't really any glaring problems. Now as far as functions go, the Shuri Copter really isn't all that interesting. It is a helicopter and that alone, you know, does kind of offer a lot of play value. So the main things you're going to do here is you're going to grab it from the back like this and right underneath there is a knob right here and you spin it and that rotates the blade. And this works pretty simply. I do wish you could, you know, rotate the blades faster because, you know, you know, I come like this and I, I move it as like as fast as I can. The blades really aren't moving all that fast but this is a pretty well integrated thing it goes right on your finger you don't have to stretch for it or anything this is very well done for what it is but again it isn't anything you know that crazy it's just a pretty simple rotating the rotor function the other functions that this has is there are these two giant translucent blue saw pieces which are new for this wave what you do is you come down like this and both of them will spin around again Nothing crazy, pretty simple. It is somewhat difficult at times if you go on too much of a forward angle because the rubber will really want to get stuck. These two rubber tires which allow the blades to move, they'll really want to get stuck on the surface. So that can be an issue, but nothing crazy there. And also, of course, two uh, six stud shooters. There's just a simple knob back here and you spin it and the studs go flying out and you lose them forever. And the last thing of note here is the cockpit section. This is a pretty simple thing. On the front of the windshield you can see a bunch of different just console controls and screens. That is a sticker. And speaking of stickers, every little detail you see on this set is a sticker. There's no prints here. Not even this small 2x2 two two round piece is a print, surprisingly. But you can just open it up like this. It'll move these three little kind of like guillotine blades. It'll move them up front. And inside the actual cockpit there's really nothing there because all the detailing is once again on the sticker but you can simply just slide Zane in like that his legs slide into those little pegs and then you can just close it up like this and it works pretty well if you noticed I do have Zane fully equipped with pretty much everything he can possibly have and he still fits in pretty well there is technically a super small gap there but I think that's a pretty fair trade-off to not have to remove 30 different accessories to get them into the actual helicopter so this is a pretty well done thing right there one of the better cockpits they've definitely done in recent memory the minifigure selection here is pretty solid but let's go ahead and start with what i think is the star of the show and that is general vex this is a very cool minifigure he's got tons of new molds the samurai helmet is dual molded with the transparent light blue and the regular gunmetal and that is an entirely new mold for lego the armor is another new mold, once again dual molded with tons of little transparent pieces coming out. And that giant spear is actually a new mold as well. And that holds the forbidden scroll of Spinjitsu for ice. But interesting enough, they actually do include the other two elements being fire and earth in the set. So I guess you can have pretty much any scroll you want if you really wanted to. And you don't have to collect all the sets to get all the scrolls. You can just get one and they'll give you all of them. Which is something pretty nice. And that is using one of those vinyl pieces. 
As for the details, everything looks pretty good here. The printing isn't too off or anything. Everything's just pretty solid. Zane has one new mold being the new scabbard piece. I think that's pretty good. It does hold one sword. Again, nothing really that crazy there. Looks pretty good though. The actual minifigure itself is pretty simple for the most part, but I like it. He is going back to the titanium look, which I think is fine. And he does not have any alternate faces, which again, I think is a fair trade-off for that little bit of detail in the back. Now, arguably the most interesting figure in this set is Forbidden Smijutsu J. He also has an entirely new dual molded hood piece, and that has this kind of fire-like thing going on through the back. I think that's going to be definitely the favorite part. Personally, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the color choice here with the green. I probably would have gone with more of a light blue. I think he'd just look better, but that's fine. He also does come with a Forbidden Smijutsu spinner, which is... Almost exactly like the Legacy Spinners, except for, for some reason, they got rid of the clips and they just made a slightly different mold. So this one doesn't have any clips, so you can't put any accessories on it. But the way this works is, just like all the other spinners, you can put the minifigure inside, and then you just spin it, and works pretty, pretty well, I have to say. So overall, I think this is a fairly good set. $30, I do think, is the exact right price for this thing. The amount of stuff you get is really, really nice for $30, especially compared to what we have been getting in Ninjago in particular, since normally it's just like bike sets or like really just bike sets, if we're being honest, it's pretty much just bike sets. But yeah, this is a nice change of pace and this is really feels like you're getting a lot for what you're paying for. The little forbidden Smijitsu spinner is a nice little added thing, but I don't really know exactly how much that's really going to give you in the grand scheme of things, especially compared to just the Shuri Copter in general, which I think is really, really nice in a lot of ways. The rotating rotor function is pretty much perfect for a helicopter. That's really all you could ever really want something to do. It's something so simple, but also so easy. It just makes it that much better. They're really there isn't really much to say here it's just a fairly solid set pretty nice price not much to complain about nothing to really rave on about that much either it just does everything it really needs to do that is it thank you guys for watching until next time this is Asia masters saying goodbye